Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This particular one is an X507M model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can add an extra RAM or upgrade the RAM on these models. They, it comes with a 4 gig, so you can grab a 6 gig stick or I mean 8 gig, you can upgrade with an 8 gig stick. And this applies for any uh, series of the X500 series. So pretty much all the same, almost closely, the same procedure. So first thing first, you wanna flip over the laptop and you wanna grab yourself a uh, screwdriver set. I really recommend you guys to grab the iFixit tool set as they have all the bits that you need and they are hardened bits. They will last you longer time. So you're gonna be using Philips number zero. Also, you will need one last uh, thing is an opening tool. You can use the opening tool that comes with an iFixit tool set, or you can use the a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. These are really handy to have around the shop to opening uh, stuff. All right, we're gonna use the Phillips number zero and we're gonna remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Remember that the back two screws, one on each corner, these are the thicker screws by the hinges. So, don't mismatch these ones. So these two screws are a little thicker and medium size. The three screws in the middle cover, two at the back and one in the middle is like a triangle right here. These are the longest screws. And the side screws, the two of them, one here, one on the other side. These are the medium long screws. So a little bit little shorter than the other one. And the four in the front row, these are the really short ones. Now we removed all the screws. What you need to do, you need to open up the laptop about 45 degrees, just like that. And you wanna stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that, about two, three millimeters inward. Just like, and you wanna just twist it like this, and you wanna hear some clicking. That's what you want to hear. You want to go all around, just like that. It's like I'm opening a soda can. Go all the way to the back corner. Same thing on the other side. All right. Once you did that, now you want to open up the laptop completely. And you want to put your finger between the top cover and the thumb right at the, by the hinges. And you want to press on it and it will come loose. Same thing on the other side. Like that. Now you don't want to yank on the top cover, but there's a ribbon cables underneath. So what you need to do, open it up 45 degrees, and you're gonna see these two ribbon cables right here. To disconnect these ones, you need to open the lock for this one, just lift up this white cover 90 degrees, and the cable will come out pretty easy. Another one is the black cable, black plastic, 90 degrees, and the cable will slide towards the back. Now you can go ahead and lift up the bottom cover. All right, down here we have the battery, the hard drive, the fan, and the Wi-Fi board. One thing you need to do first is remove this ribbon cable, same thing, lift up the jack, and remove the cable. With the Wi-Fi board right here, you want to remove this screw and lift up this and just pull out the wi-fi board leave it there next we need to remove the hard drive two screws and one on the here for the hard drive two on the caddy so remove these screws right there i already made a video on how to upgrade the hard drive to make it faster and this one has an ssd drive because we placed it in so you slide the hard drive towards the back and the gap is gonna open and then you can just lift up the hard drive. So this one has an uh, SSD drive here. Now one, what you need to do here is to remove the connectors for the fan and the uh, speaker. So just by pulling this black jack backward. Before that, doing that, just lift up this cover here, plastic. So I'm put it to one side. So now go ahead and pull up this jack backward. Same thing for the speaker jack. Just pull it backward. 
Now what you need to do is to loosen up the hinges, the two screws. Let's go ahead and remove all the screws on the motherboard. So two at the back, two right almost close to the connectors. And let's go ahead and remove the one in the corner right here. These are all the same size. Remove the two screws on the hinges. All right, next, we're gonna lift up this back side and lift it up from here and do the back. And the battery is gonna get disconnected. Don't worry about that. We're gonna, as soon as you lift up a little bit, push the battery down and this connector will come out. Now you don't really need to remove the ribbon cable for the LCD, you can just twist it over and we can see on the bottom side and the RAM is right over here. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers apart. So put your finger there and just pull it apart and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And what you need to do, just pull it out in the same direction, 45 degree angle. This one is a 4 gig DDR4, so you can grab your 5, 8 gig stick and you have to go the same position. Make sure the notch right here has to match the notch on the dim. Yours might have the RAM uh, memories on the top side. Doesn't matter which way it goes, as long as the notch matches. Because if the, ma the notch in there doesn't match, it will not go in. So put it on the correct position, 45 degree angle. Stick it all the way in. You can hold it like this and push it in, and then push it towards the motherboard, and you should hit two, do two triggers. Just like that. Okay, now you can just rotate it back down. Put the I.O. side underneath right there. Actually, you didn't have to remove the screws for the hinges, but we did anyway, so. Now you can bring it down and make sure it goes all the way to the battery connector right there. Now we can go ahead and put the screws back where we took it from. So the two screws for the hinges. And the, all, the rest goes on the motherboard. And one right there. Now you want to grab your Wi-Fi board and just stick it right there in the corner from the left side. And then push it all the way down to make sure the screw hole matches. And the white screw or the chrome screw goes right on the top. Now go ahead and connect the fan cable. And connect the other one, the speakers. Grab the shielding uh, on the top, place it in the right position. Grab the hard drive, put it in an offset position, and then slide it towards the connectors. Put the three screws for the caddy, two at the back, one on the motherboard. Oh, and the last thing will be here to put the connector, just lift up the lock here and slide the ribbon cable underneath. Make sure it has to go evenly. And make sure all these cables are nicely and tucked in. Even the antenna cable for the Wi-Fi has been nicely in place. Put the back end of the in top cover in there and then bring it down in 45 degree angle. And down here you want to put the open up the lock for this one and bring it down evenly from the back and straight down all the way in. Okay, and then hold it and then lock it down. Same thing for the other flex cable. So open the lock. Stick it in and then lock it down. 
All right, next, you, what you want to do, you want to pinch the top and the bottom cover, and you're going to hear some clicks. All right, next, close down the lid and flip it over, and we're going to put the bottom screws. Remember, the two big, thick ones go to the corners, and the rest goes as we took it down on the first. And I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys liked it and helped you guys out, click that thumbs up button. I'll really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or requests, you know where to leave them. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. The longest ones are the middle ones. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.